Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Steven. Hello, everybody. I'm Rezvan. <laughs> and we're Cardboard Coalition. We have Rezvan on a video chat, and of course, there's going to be a little bit of a delay because of the difference, and I just can't figure out how to fix it in the recording. But anyways, today we thought we'd give you a quick video where we went over just a couple Kickstarters, um, I believe are ending... Um, I don't think the end of this month, they, they're going to go into next month, but they're, they're close to ending, but they're two Kickstarters that I have been debating and I want, I've been waiting to show to Resvon to see what she thinks, because I really, you know, want her involved in the, the process of picking what we get and what we don't. I mean, I'm going to get things that I want to get and I want her to be able to grab things that she likes to get or she thinks will be fun. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and pop screens. Cause I'm also only working with one screen. Unlike some people, they have like 30 screens and they can glance at everything. I got one screen on this fancy old laptop, which I, um, I apologize for the, the hum of the laptop, but I do have one off to the side here, a new one that I just bought. So hopefully things will get much better. All right. So anyways, go ahead, Rezwan, open your eyes. So, I, I'm going to play the video for these, um, <laughs> for these Kickstarters after uh, we get off so Rezvan can watch our, once we stop recording so Rezvan can watch them. But I wanted to go over, there's two of them that I wanted to look at. So the first one that I was interested in, but I'm not sure, but I also think Rezvan might like this one because it has little dragons and stuff, is Flamecraft. And this one is from um, Cardboard Alchemy. I want to go down because I always mess up names. Yeah, Cardboard Alchemy. So Flamecraft from Cardboard Alchemy. So what this game is, is you you're live in a little village and you have these dragons that are artisans. So you have all these little dragons who live in the village who make bread and cook steak and make jewelry. And this one looks like it grows plants. I don't know if that's supposed to be tea over here. This one looks like, I don't know, it's it's barbecuing something or it's heating something up, maybe some metal urgy. All right, so down here it says, like that, say that again. Like that, that demon and beauty have a flower in the box. Oh, like Beauty and the Beast? Had the Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so Flamecraft, it, it's a it's a worker replacement um, game, in a sense. So you're you're trying to get these dragons. I believe there's some hand management going on, but we'll look into that as we scroll down. So right here it says, "Enter a world of dragons." Dot dot dot. So it's supposed to mean you're thinking. A lot of people use the ellipses as a is a, a pause. It's supposed to be you're thinking, but I won't get into all that that teacherly stuff. But Enter a world of dragons, tiny artisan dragons, right? So it's a world with dragons, but they're little tiny artisan dragons. They're not these big, huge dragons. They're maybe like pet size, right? And they do things. So um, so it says, that as a shopkeeper, you're trying to go around and collect up as many dragons as you can to work in your shop to make these things, right? So... As we scroll down, there's the box. This is kind of how the game plays. And as you could see, there's little meeples, but if you do the um, deluxe version, then you get the standee, or not the standees, the miniatures, which I think Rezvan's gonna like. The base game comes with the little meeples to represent the dragons, and the deluxe comes with these standees. Right? And you can see the little food, and there's things that you collect up, right? It's two to five players, it takes um, an hour, 60 minutes, and it's ages 14 and up, right? So it says, compete to um, enchant the town in this dragon placement game with a sh with shared engine building. So I said, car deck building, it's engine building. Ah, you're using the, the cards to build your engine. But you're trying to build the, the nicest um, shop or set of shops, from what I understand in this, right? And you do that by collecting up cards and moving dragons around. Right, and here's some of the art for some of the cards. Um, so you have like the bazaar, and there's a little bit of um, text here. The thing is, once if if Resvon likes this game, we end up getting it. Once it gets here to the states, Resvon will definitely be here. We we think she'll probably be here the end of this year, um, 
right at the beginning latest of um, like January next year. Um, so pretty soon, hopefully we'll, we'll have her here. So it'll be a little bit of reading, but it, it'll be okay. This isn't one where you need to hide your cards from what I can tell. Um, and then there's reviews and stuff. So let's, let's go back up to the top and I want to talk a little bit about why I'm kind of thinking about it. So this one has 12 days left. If you guys remember when I talked about um, Kickstarter and how to view Kickstarters, there's a video that we can watch. I'm not going to play it here. I'll play it for Res1 after. Its goal was to make 25,000. It's made 1,020,000. So it's made almost a million over what they were going to make, right? Lots of backers. And then the question is, um, why maybe is there so much interest? I would say that this company that makes this, right, Flamecraft, the company that makes it, is called Cardboard Alchemy. And to you guys, it might not seem um, familiar, or maybe it does, but through the videos in Cardboard Coalition, that's because uh, I started the videos well after. But I, well, well after I backed this game right here, which is a Mission Catastrophe, which I think is really fun. This game, you're, there's a ship and it's going to fall apart and you're trying to get off the ship as fast as you can, right? And it has little miniatures and stuff. Um, and so I, I already backed this one before we started doing videos, before we started um, talking about stuff like this. So they have that one. I've never heard of this one over here. Um, Cardboard Alchemy Essential Elements. I, I've never heard of that one. But Mission Catastrophe from everything that I've read about it and I see looks like a great game. I think um, Flamecraft might be a really fun game. It looks like it'll be light or maybe even light medium kind of game. But it looks like it could be pretty fun. So then I'm already interested because I was all in on this one. When I saw uh, Mission Catastrophe, I was like, yes, I want this game. So Flamecraft, um, it's kind of cutesy. And I don't know how much I'm into the cutesy cutesy, but I think Resvon might. So that's the, the first one we wanted to look at today is Flamecraft. And then the other thing, this is more a channel thing. I, I've thought about um, doing at the beginning of the month, this is what's coming out and do all that stuff just to, I guess, produce content. But more I think it would be interesting is, unless people send me stuff and ask us to do that, I think it's just interesting to talk about what I might find interesting, Resvon might find interesting, you know, for that month and try to get it to you guys before it closes so you guys can look at it too. So with that said, back to the regularly scheduled program. The other game that I was thinking about um, is Wicked and Wise, right? So... This game is two to six players, it's 45 to 75 minutes, it's for eight plus, and it's a trick-taking game. So trick-taking, remember, is where each player plays a card and then someone wins those cards. So this is a trick-taking game, but there's a twist to it. The dragons are the ones doing the tricks, right? So you use the dragons to play the tricks, but you also have these mice that can mess up the tricks and they can change them and try to do just kind of crazy things to uh, mess up. So you might think, oh, th I'm gonna win this trick because I have the higher card of this suit, but the one of the mice might have changed something. So it's kind of, you team up in a sense, you're playing against each other, but the mice and the dragon team up to try to beat the other ones. And you're trying to collect up coins, um, and whoever has the most coins at the end of the game wins the game. This is a trick-taking game with a little extra to it. Um, but to me, I like trick taking. Um, I, it was kind of interesting. This is kind of just showing what comes in the box, right? You have the 60 basic cards, 17 treasure cards. I'm assuming these are the cards um, that you're trying to collect up for points, right? 17 trump cards. If you've done trick taking or you watched our video where I talked about trick taking, it's the card that beats any other card. Then you have your goal cards, things that you're trying to do. You have your nine roll cards, you're either a dragon or a mouse, or probably a dragon and a mouse. And then tabletop cards, I'm not really sure what these are. And then you have your reference cards. And then it comes with tokens. I'm assuming they're going to be cardboard tokens. Um, I didn't read deep in this to see, but what I found interesting in this is the um, the idea of the, the dragons and the mice. And it's trick taking. So I tend to like trick-taking. I think Resvon likes trick-taking games. She really likes the fox in the forest. 
Um, I got a couple more that I'd like to play with her. Um, I think she might like. When she gets here, it'd probably be really fun to play things like the crew with her. I think she'd really like the crew. Now, the one thing I forgot to do this with Flamecraft, and we'll go back, but um, is price. But let's hold on on price for a second. First, I want to talk about, I've never heard of Weird Giraffe games. But remember, Resvon and I are very new at um, the gaming world, especially buying games, like getting into, the, really getting into the hobby instead of going... For me, going to people's houses and playing the games that they had. So we're fairly new at it, a couple years in at this point, um, of buying games specifically to play. Uh, but one of the things you can do when you're looking at games on Kickstarter, and this goes back to like everybody who's new to the hobby and is interested, is you can click on the creator, which I already did. It'll open another window. And you can look at what the creator has created. So Weird Giraffe Games has created one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Uh, this looks like it, oh, it was canceled. So five games, they've had five games fund. Um, and this one actually, glancing kind of looks interesting to me now because it's Western and there's dice. I love dice. Um, but when I look up here, these look like card games and in there, in that lower card range, right? $19, this one is $19. Um, it's festival, uh, this is sorcery, engine building, and drafting game. So it looks like, by looking at this, you could say, okay, the company's made a couple games. You can kind of gauge, you could look up the games and see how well they've done, which I didn't do. Um, but it looks like at least they've made some games, right? So that makes me feel a little comfortable. So it goes back to this idea of, this is a trick-taking game, and go into the cost. This one's $25. There, I think you can go 45 to get the playmat. Yeah, you can go 45 and get a playmat. But the game is $25, right? With all stretch goals, $25 for the game, plus probably somewhere between um, seven and what, $10, especially now with all the shipping stuff. Games are already slowly going up in price, as you saw here. The last one was 19, 19, then they're like 25. That has to do with production and trying to get it shipped, especially now with all the lockdowns and all that, or whatever you want to look at the pandemic, COVID, however you want to look at it, the bottlenecks that are going on with shipping. So this one's $25 for the trick um, taking game. Now for a second, I'm going to jump back and hopefully I don't confuse everybody, but I didn't do this with Flamecraft. Um, with Flamecraft, you can get the shopkeeper, the basic one, for $39. It, once again, is probably, I would say this one's probably 10 to 15 maybe dollars in shipping. Um, we can scroll down and see. Uh, but it's the standard edition, um, standard edition stretch goals and exclusive Kickstarter items that you can get with this one. Or the one that we would probably go with, because I'm assuming Resvon likes the miniatures, would be this one, which is the Flame Keeper which gives you the deluxe edition, all stretch goals, Kickstarter items. Um, uh, adds, and that says what it adds. It adds six uh, color, I can't go over it because I'll do that. Six full color miniatures. So you get the different dragons or actual miniatures instead of meeples. Um, upgraded items to custom painted wood. It gets a game trays insert uh, and a limited print run. So there's not, they're saying they're not gonna put out a whole bunch of these deluxe edition ones. So this one's gonna be about $80. Um, and like I said, it, this is, seems like a light game. They both seem like light games. So back to Wicked in the Wise, just really quick so we can scroll, whoops, so we can scroll through and Resvon can see a little bit of the art. So there's some of the art, shows you what's in the box. Um, there's some testimonials, there's their stretch goals, potential meeple image, you know, if they hit a certain stretch goal. Here's some videos. This kind of shows you the setup and how it plays. Each dragon chooses two of the four goals. So dragons pick your goals and then you start doing your tricks, right? It gives you some gameplay, things like that. So this one, there's not a lot of stuff coming in the box, but it's also not that expensive. Now, if we go back over here and we go to uh, Flamecraft, oops, I keep scrolling up this side. So we have the box, this kind of shows you, um, I'm sure they have another one that's gonna show you really what's in the box, but it kind of shows you the game, gives you a little thing, 
Shows you pictures of the art that's going to be on the cards. Um, we scroll down a little bit more. Some testimonials. It would be nice if we got big enough as a channel that we would get some of the stuff early and we can do testimonials and playthroughs. And we'd be worth testimonials. It'd be worth people sharing our ideas. So this is showing you ooh, what the standard edition comes with. This is the lower dollar amount. This is that uh, $39. $39. $39 amount, so 40 bucks. What comes in the box? So you get 28 shot cards, 48 artisan dragons, so there's 48 different dragons, um, 25 fancy dragons, so you got some fancy looking dragons here, right? 18 enchantment cards, I'm not really sure what that has to do with, um, but we'll figure it out. So six dragon meeples, remember I said the standard comes with meeples instead of miniatures? Um, then you have six score markers, so you have a score marker for each dragon. And then you go down here, and there's 210 item tokens. All right, so 210, and it looks like there's like, uh, there's an anvil and some meat, and there's like a potion bottle and a diamond, a leaf, that looks like bread, and that's some of the things that are already over here. Oh, it says it down here. So you have bread, meat, crystals, Plants, iron, and potion. This is what the dragons make, right? Uh, 24 um, coin tokens. This is probably the money that you get up, that you collect up. And then there's player aids. Looks like they're colored uh, to match the dragons. And then, of course, you get the playing board. This is the mat that you play on, right? Um, and this is the, the standard, oops, stop, standard edition. Then you go on to the deluxe edition. This is where I think Resvon will really like it so six miniatures so instead of the meeples you would get these six miniature dragons instead of the the meeples then you get 20 210 uh custom wooden items so instead of being little cardboard tokens they're wooden painted items right you get oh i didn't know it came with that design not final you get a bag um, and then your coins here look metal i think the coins above oh, come on come on scroll here the coins above, I think, would probably be cardboard. Let's see what it says. Uh, it just says uh, 24 coin tokens, one of a kind. They look like they're trying to show you that it's cardboard. If you see the kind of edge right here, they're trying to show you that little white edge. So this is all cardboard. So it's it's thinking about what you get in the, in, in the package. So these are metal coins. You get a bag for the coins. Um, yeah, so 24 metal coins. In a custom cloth bag then you also game trays you get a whole bunch of a specialized tray to put everything into your box to make it all nice so those are the things that you kind of get deluxe so for forty dollars more you get the game trays insert you get metal coins you get this little bag you get the wooden tokens yeah i already see resvon thumbs up <laughs> and then you get the the little um meeples instead <laughs> not meeples you get the little miniatures instead of the wooden meeples right so that that's uh, the two games. Is there anything that you want to say about the games, Resvon? I kind of been talking this whole time. I really want to. Which one? If you had to pick one of these two, which <laughs> one would you pick? Would you pick Flamecraft or would you pick uh, Wicked and Wise? This, this is one's better. better. Wicked and Wise. Uh. That's maybe it's be will be good, but I don't know why. I have a good feeling about that game. Oh, dragons okay. game. Well, they're both dragons I, game too. That's the thing. I have so you're talking about Flamecraft, this one. Flamecraft. Yeah. Here. Sorry, I I don't remember that. So thing, but you kind of yeah. you're interested in getting this one here. Let me scroll up higher because. What it shows up here is basically this is the deluxe version because you can see the metal coins. I mean, it's weird because it shows you the wooden meeples, and but it shows you deluxe everything else. But uh, you know, be what it may, right? So your vote is for Flamecraft. This is the one you like more. Yeah. Yes, and I like it because, you know, I really like uh, the games have a lot mm -hmm. of colors and it's really beautiful. And I, I feel I if I'm I'm going to play, 
Like I'm going oh, yeah. in a like story. A little magical world. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh, there's 12 days to go on this one too. So this one has 12 days to go. Um, so there's probably going to still be more. Um, did they do? I don't know if they did stretch goals. Sorry for the fast run. Uh, standard edition. Yeah, it says stretch goals. Let's see what they've done in stretch goals. Oh, we lost Rezon for, Rezon for a second, but she's back. Yeah. Um, so this is just talking about why Kickstarter. Kickstarter is not in stores. The deluxe, they're saying, but you'll be able to get things at, at conventions and stuff. This shows you the pledge levels and kind of what you get. Um, here's add-ons. So you can get the miniatures if you want. You can get a fancy dragon mini that's different than all the other ones. I'm sure Resmon's going to want that. See, this one does, isn't in the box. It's, uh, it says Kickstarter exclusive seventh miniature. Oh no, this is a Kickstarter exclusive miniature. Huh. Free offer. Everyone can get a miniature. Oh, look at that, my love. Free offer. Everyone can get this miniature by solving any of the Flamecraft puzzles. See puzzle section for more information. So you can solve a puzzle and get the miniature. Oh, that sounds fun. I'll have to check that out. This is all just their add-ons down here. Additional. So it's a table book showing you the art. Mm, art of Flamecraft. Oh, stuffed animals. The bread dragon. Uh oh, they're probably going to have all of them. Dragon coaster. Oh, my God. They're just a bunch of advertising here. Let's see. Let's go down. Yes, they say it's great. Event right. calendar. Launch day, final, September 12th. I want to see. Oh, there's the puzzles. So you can pu do the puzzles to get that dragon. Um, so we'll have to check it out. Oh, there's some pictures of the puzzles. So maybe Rezon out tonight or something. For me, it'll be morning for her. We'll have to look at some of the puzzles. Social goals. So candy store treats. These are all things that... Um, they're getting in the social goals of treats. Let's see. Alchemist Lab, Candy Store, Pizza Parlor. Oh, they better have bacon there. Huh, Rezvan? <laughs> They're all unlocked. Iron <laughs> Crystal. Those are all the unlocks. Um, scroll down, down. Oh, here's the stretch goals. Wow. So it funded a uh, game mat. So you can get a game mat. Uh, full color dragon miniatures. Wooden tokens, they've already shown all that. Uh, a shop card, what's down here? Mini art prints, Kickstarter exclusive, you see the little thing right there. A dragon spa where the dragons can relax. Oh. There's a forest. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel, it looks like it's a bread dragon, a, a type of bread dragon. There's a buffet, there's a bank. So there's a whole bunch of stretch goals that come with it too if you if you get the Kickstarter deluxe version. So like I said, I wanted to make this video short and I also want to show Resvon these um, new couple new games, see if she was interested in one of them. Thank you. And it looks like uh Resvon's kind of really interested in Flamecraft. Um, can I say yes, something? No. Because I feel I feel that game had a card and down of that had some words and I was worried I can't play uh, that. <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll get used to reading the words on the cards. It's okay. But that's kind of just what I want to show you guys. Hopefully this video is short. I, I know I started rambling and ran out of, you know, lost track of time there for a second. But just want to show you this stuff and give Rezvan a first look at it so you guys can kind of see her reaction. It looks like we're going to end up picking up Flamecraft, so we'll be able to do an unboxing in a year or so from now when all that comes in, how to play and all that great stuff. But I'm Steven. Rezvan. And we're Cardboard Coalition. As always, help us grow the coalition by liking, commenting, subscribing. If you're in there, you want to join in on this whole endeavor or you're one of our friends or family that want to join in, just let us know and we'll try to figure out how to get videos in and get you guys in this coalition as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later, everybody. Bye. Adolphus! <laughs>